Scientists say for the first time in history, they have proved that the remains of a small meteor came from outside our solar system. A research team back in June retrieved the remnants of an object at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. And tonight, their analysis suggests that the tiny metal spheres are like nothing we've seen on Earth or within our solar system. Joining me now is the scientist who led that mission. Avi Loeb is a Harvard theoretical astrophysicist and professor of science. He is also the best-selling author of Extraterrestrial, the first sign of intelligent life beyond Earth. And a new book is out just today called Interstellar, the search for extraterrestrial life and our future in the stars. Avi, welcome. It's really great to have you. And thank you for coming on News Nation to talk about what you, your announcement today, that your expedition team, first of all, found more than 700 of these microscopic metallic spheres on the bottom of the ocean. You're announcing tonight that they come from outside our solar system. How do you know? Thanks for having me. Well, we know by studying their composition, it was hard work, first of all, to get them from uh, an ocean that is more than a mile deep. Uh, these are the size of a grain of sand, uh, less than the head of a pin, uh, typically. They look beautiful, like metallic marbles, but they're tiny, a milligram each of them. And we found, as you said, the 700, brought them back to Harvard University and used the, the best instruments the world has to offer uh, to analyze their composition. And lo and behold, we found that they have an abundance of several elements that is far beyond what you find uh, in the solar system. These elements include beryllium, lanthanum, uranium, and some other heavy elements at an abundance that is hundreds of times more than solar system materials. We compared it to what you find on the Earth, the Moon, Mars, anywhere in the solar system, and nothing like it was seen before. So how confident are you that it isn't from this solar system, and how significant is that? What does that mean? Very confident this is the first time that scientists analyzed materials from a large object, half a meter in size, that came from outside the solar system. More interestingly, this object was moving really fast, faster than 95% of the stars in the vicinity of the sun. And moreover, it had material strength that was tougher than all other space rocks recognized by NASA over the past decade. So that raises the possibility that it may be a Voyager-like meteor. Uh, imagine Voyager colliding with a planet like Earth and burning up in its atmosphere. It would look like a meteor with an unusual material strength and an unusually high speed because of its propulsion. And so what we want to figure out ultimately is whether it was technological in origin. Right. But to, to figure it out, we need a bigger piece of the object. You, to figure out, you, you, so you can't tell if this was naturally made or if it was created by something or someone in some way. That's right. I mean, it, uh, it is difficult just from the composition of elements to tell that. But now we know where to look because we found those uh, spheral, these tiny marbles, in particular locations. We can go back there and search for bigger pieces. And of course, you can tell the difference between a rock and a technological gadget, because a, a gadget might have buttons on it. And then the question is, should we press a button? Yeah, well, I got to be honest. The U.S. government has known that this meteor crashed in the Pacific since 2014. Why isn't NASA or the Department of Defense studying these things? Good question. I mean, they have a day job, which is national security. This object has nothing to do. If it came from interstellar space, it doesn't care how we split the land on this rock. Uh, in between nations. And that's not a matter that is related to national security. It's more in the realm of science. And uh, the same is true, of course, for uh, the testimony of David Grush that uh, you reported about uh, last month. And uh, once again, anything to do with interstellar space should be dealt with by scientists and the information should be shared by all humans. Right. Well, Avi Loeb, congratulations on the conclusion. I look forward to hearing more information about whether or not we think this was natural or made by something. A lot of people yeah. mocked you for studying this and thinking this might have been from outside the solar system. And tonight, you proved them all that you are right. 
So congratulations. All right. And uh, I would argue also that it's easier to get that information from the bottom of the Pacific Pacific Ocean than from politicians in Washington, D.C. Oh, my goodness. You are so right. <laughs> I think a lot of people might agree with you. Avi Loeb, great to have you on the show. Thanks again. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.